play from the first couple innings, and obviously that one inning, uh, they scored two runs on a, on a strikeout, wild pitch, you know, on a kind of a weird play with a little bit of a collision at first, and I thought we came out a little bit flat, but uh, I thought Roz Brocker really settled the game down when he came in, and uh, I thought he did a really nice job after, uh, I thought, you know, Zirinak showed flashes of, of good stuff. Uh, I thought Talani wasn't at his best today, but then when Braca came in and kind of settled the game down, uh, we kind of got back into it a little bit, made it 6-3, to three, made it a ball game. But, you know, their kid Mulry really did a nice job uh, mixing pitches, throwing three pitches for a strike, using both sides of the plate, attacking hitters. And, you know, uh, I thought he set the tone for them. And, you know, they, they, they capitalized on, our, you know, our mistake. And that's usually, usually what baseball is. You capitalize on the other team's mistakes and you usually win. And, you know, uh, we gave them more runs than they gave us. So, uh, but, you know, you tip your captain Mulry. I thought he did a really nice job, uh, you know, in the five innings he was in there. And, you know, we didn't hit many balls hard off him. And, uh, but, you know, it's, uh, it was an emotional weekend. You know, we're coming back from a uh, you know, really tough series with Hartford. And uh, I think the guys, you know, we're out of finals. We've got nothing to do but baseball now. We'll get back We'll get back on the practice field the next two days and get after it before we get on the bus to Hofstra. Sure. Uh, as someone who coached here with Neil, can you just talk about what this is like for you to come here and coach? And I, it's, uh, you know, Neil gave me my first opportunity uh, in this place here, this field, Friedman Diamond, is a special place in my heart. It's where I got my start in coaching, and uh, Neil was uh, kind enough to give me that opportunity. Not knowing me, I walked off the street and said, I want to coach. You know, I had some pedigree in terms of where I play, but I'd never got into coaching, and he trusted me uh, and, and given me an opportunity to coach, and I'll be forever grateful to Neil McPhee. Uh, we did a lot of great things here, coached a lot of great players, and uh, without him, I'm not where I'm at right now. But uh, he's had a great career. It's nice to, you know, play him in his final in his final season. Uh, he's now we're one and one. I got him when I was at St. Anne's. We beat him, we beat him one nothing. So now he's one and one. So uh, I'm sure he's glad to get that one. But now it's it's a great spot. He's got a great coaching staff under him. Mike Lavin's going to do a great job in it with his, uh, you know, at replacing him next year and you know, and Kevin Cobb and um, they all do a great job over here. So it's going to be nice to continue playing them on a yearly basis. Uh, Ian has been a force in the middle of your lineup this year. A couple RBI today. Can you just talk about how big he's been for you guys? I think he's the best center fielder in the conference, if not New England. Uh, the play he made off the Lions ball in center field, uh, he got a great jump. Uh, he's a very, very smart baseball player. Um, and in my opinion, he should be the rookie of the year in the American East. I think if you look, he's playing a position that's a pretty demanding position for a freshman hitting at the top of our lineup, hitting over 300, stealing bases, uh, and, and then getting on the mound and being a force on the mound. I think the kid is a special athlete, and he's got a chance to have a really special career here. Uh, can you talk about Steve a little bit? Obviously, his first start of his career. Yeah, his first start. You know, he was a starter in high school. I thought he came out and had had some good stuff. And I, you know, obviously, the, yeah, I think if he gets out of that second inning, it's a different ball sure. game. But you know, that's baseball. You know, we got to be able to block that ball and then make a play at first base. But uh, you know, Jack has done a great job for us in in, in a you know substitution role and giving and spelling Jacob O'Keefe and you know and and and. and Fairness to Jack, uh, Steve throws ball. Not one of his balls is straight, so it's his balls moving left, right, up and down, and uh, he's kind of tough to catch. But uh, you know, I think that he's Steve shows glimpses, and he just needs to get more consistent. You know, if he learns how to throw more strikes, he could be very, very good. Uh, Matt reached base three times. Uh, sort of starting off innings pretty well. Can you just talk about how well, big that is? I mean, Matty is just a good hitter. He's uh, he's got to be hitting, I think, about 340 now after today. Uh, he's just a really good hitter. He's a smart hitter. He takes what the pitcher gives him. Uh, he, he, he'll hit the ball from pole to pole, and, and he's got the ability. He's got doubles power. He's got an occasional, you know, he doesn't have any home runs this year, but he does have home run, some home run power. But he's just a really good hitter, and uh, when he's locked in, he's fun to watch. Thanks, Kevin. All right, thank